Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back in the Church of Chewbacca, and we're back here with another top 10 list. This time around, we're going to do the catchers, the battery mates of the pitchers that we've already gone over. We've already gone over the starting pitchers and the bullpen. I hope you guys enjoyed those top 10s. This list is going to be the catchers. Before we get into the list, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, aka liking the video. Hit the notification bell so you know when we're uploading more videos. Comment down below what you guys think about this top 10 catchers list. Love to hear from you guys. I think the conversation's been pretty good from the other top 10 lists so far. Appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Let's get into it. Honorable mentions. As always, we got to do our honorable mentions before we get into the top 10 list. And this is the tops now, 96 overall, Jorge Alfaro, the first honorable mention. Right hand throwing, right hand batting. He has no secondary positions. He's a diamond hitting, diamond defense. Overall, pretty good hitting attributes, as you can see, 92 plus. I think he has a very glitchy swing. Biggest downside of this card, bad vision. 62 vision just doesn't cut in the game so far. But honestly, at 76 speed and the great defense, he could be kind of usable in like a Miami Marlins theme team or Florida Marlins since they were previously the Florida Marlins, not social Miami Marlins. Either way, I get Alfaro as one of the honorable mentions. The next honorable mention is a 97 overall, Tyler Stevenson. Doesn't have any other secondary positions, only can play catcher. Right-handed throwing, right-handed batting, diamond defense, diamond hitting. And you're looking at him, once again, has very good attributes, 92 plus. He's going to hit lefties a little bit better than righties, as you can see with the 107 contact versus lefty, 108 power versus lefty, 97 vision, pretty good discipline and clutch. Above average fielding, nothing too spectacular, but he does have 90 arm strength, which is good in 85 blocking, 40 speed. I just think he's a little bit better than Alfaro. Um, he's very close to making the top 10 list. Has an above average swing. Next up, we have Yasmani Grandal. He has a secondary position of first base. He's a switch hitter, right-handed throwing, diamond hitting, diamond defense. Another guy has a very glitchy swing like Alfaro. He's a switch hitter, so... He definitely is going to have a good righty-lefty-lefty-righty lefty, lefty, righty matchup every single time. He has great power at 107 power versus righty, 102 power versus lefty. 68 vision, 125 clutch. His fielding is good at 94 fielding and 91 reaction, 88 blocking. But he doesn't have the great arm strength at only 71 arm strength. That's why he's saying an honorable mentions here. Even though he does have a very glitchy swing, the low vision, low arm strength hurts him a lot here. The last of the honorable mentions is the Buster Posey 2012 MVP card. And he's 99 overall, has secondary position of first base, right hand throwing, right handed batting, diamond hitting, diamond defense. And you're looking at it right here, and he has above average defense, only 82 arm strength. His hitting's what's kind of the letdown. He doesn't hit righties very well, even though he absolutely mashes lefties. Pretty good vision at 95 vision. He has 125 contact, 112 power versus lefty. So he could be like a platoon catcher if you need him to, but either way, he's not a guy that's going to be in the lineup day-to-day -day, in my personal opinion at least not this point in the game I do think he was a top three catcher in the game for a very long time though to be 100% honest with you either way he's wrapping up the honorable mentions number 10 kicking off the top 10 is the number 10 catcher in the game right now it's the 98 overall Yadier Molina gold glove 2012 winner he's won a lot of platinum gold gloves too which means you're the best fielder overall in the entire league that you play in so whether it's american league or national league i believe in 2012 he actually won the platinum glove at catcher he's second in position of first base obviously he's right handed throwing right handed batting and you're looking at his attributes he's 101 contact versus righty 115 contact versus lefty with 73 power versus righty 85 power versus lefty and 102 vision his discipline's not too great at 70 and 105 clutch Honestly, Molina has a very good swing in this game. He seems to generate a lot of base hits, whether it's his silver card that I've had a few times in Battle Royale. It actually might be a bronze card now, to be honest with you, because I haven't played BR in a while. But either way, really like this diamond card. And then you're looking at his defense. is absolutely ridiculous with the 97 fielding, 96 arm strength, 96 arm accuracy, 84 reaction, 97 blocking, 35 speed. Not the fastest guy out there, but either way, this Molina's, if you want a defensive catcher on a budget, because I believe he's under 20,000 stubs, this is your guy. Great budget catcher, absolute monster on defense. Number nine. Coming in in the ninth spot here is the 1985 Silver Slugger recipient, Gary Carter. 
99 overall. He has secondary positions of first base, left field, and right field, right hand throwing, right handed batting. And even though his price tag is like a million stubs, it's just people trying to stash stubs away. Because I don't even know if you can still get the Gary card in the game. And if you could, I guess just sell him for a million stubs. But I would assume if you're getting him, because I think he was a BR reward, that you would honestly just pick one of the other guys that you could use. Because he's kind of random to get him. But either way, you're looking at a 79 contact versus righty, 115 contact versus lefty, 92 power versus righty, 95 power versus lefty, 113 vision, 93 discipline, 118 clutch. In the field, he's 85 fielding, 87 arm strength, 82 arm accuracy, 72 reaction, 86 blocking, and 44 speed. Really, you're looking at the card right here. Pretty decent power guy at the 92 plus, but he doesn't hit contacts versus righty that well. He has an okay swing. I just feel like there's better catchers in the game. That's why I got him coming in at number nine on the list. Number eight. I know a lot of people don't hit well with this guy that's in the eighth spot right here. And it's Joe Torre, the signature series card from when he played for the Atlanta Braves. He's obviously a New York Yankees longtime manager as well, where he's very successful. He's won a lot of World Series as a manager. And he has secondary position to third base and first base. He's right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. And honestly, I know that people don't like his swing. I personally am very fond of Joe Torre's swing. It's a little bit of a swing to get used to. But I had him play catcher for me for a good period of this season. And he's one of my favorite players to play with. And he has 112 contact versus righty, 116 contact versus lefty, 85 power versus righty, 80 power versus lefty, 106 vision, 98 discipline, 117 clutch. In the field, he's 82 fielding, 82 arm strength, 84 arm accuracy, 77 reaction, 83 blocking, and 50 speed. What I will say about this Joe Torre that I like about him is he has good vision, good contact. He seems to hit the ball in the right center gap a lot. He's not a big power guy that you would maybe want a catcher, but I actually do enjoy playing with him. If you guys haven't got him yet, I think he's about 115,000 stubs. I don't think he's really worth like picking up at this point in the game. You can get so many better catchers for free. And I also think there's other guys that you can play at catcher. So this Torrey, when he first came into the game, and I think it was the third or fourth inning, very good catcher, one of the best catchers in the game. But at this point in time, other people just pass them by. Number seven. Boys, we finally did it. We got a Pittsburgh Pirate on one of these top ten lists. And it's the number seventh overall catcher in the game. It's the 99 overall Jacob Stallings from the finest 2020. I would have personally liked to see another Cabrian Hayes card, but hey, we got Stallings instead. He doesn't play any secondary positions, right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. And against left-handed pitching, he's absolutely going to rake at 125 contact versus lefty, 112 power versus lefty with 75 vision, has a good discipline and clutch. Where this card actually really shines and why it got him on 7th on the list ahead of Molina. And he might have been a little bit higher because I think there's other guys that hit better than he does that have about the same defense. But he has 95 fielding, 94 arm strength, 96 arm accuracy with 99 blocking. Not the fastest at 29 speed, doesn't have the best reaction at 81. But his catcher attributes are ridiculous on defense and he can obviously mash lefties. It's also the reason why Posey didn't make this list because this is like the souped up version of Posey. So that's what we're going with here. Stallings at number seven. Number six. So we got the Pennsylvania brethren of Stallings here. JT Rillamuto coming in at six. And in secondary position of first base, right-handed batting, right-handed throwing. And he has 85 contact versus righty and 112 power versus righty. So he hits the righties better than Stallings does. He's about the same against lefties at 125 contact versus lefty and 91 power. Doesn't have for as much power, but has the max contact against lefties. 81 vision, pretty decent discipline and clutch. And then you're looking at his defense, isn't quite as good as Stallings. But because his bat's better, he has a better swing than Stallings does in the game. I gave him the nod over Stallings. That's why he's at 6 instead of 7. And he's faster. So I guess you could put him on, leave him on the bench if you wanted an extra catcher for whatever reason. Or just a guy to platoon against lefties. You could have Rilamuto. And he can still kind of pinch run 40 at 75 speed. The defense... 91 arm strength is way more than sufficient. Good blocking at 90. So this Earl Muto can definitely be your starting catcher. If you're a Phillies fan, put in JT. Just give him the nod. I think he's a very good catcher to have. Number five. We're getting into the top five here. And the fifth guy on the list is Avon Pudge Rodriguez. 99 overall. 
1999 gold glove winner. He caught for the Texas Rangers that season, but he's caught for several different teams, including the Detroit Tigers and the Florida Marlins. He has no secondary positions as he's only ever played catcher. I actually seen an interesting fact the other day that he caught Nolan Ryan, who debuted in 1966, and he also caught Steven Strasburg, who debuted in 2010. So it just shows the longevity of Pudge. Not that he caught them both in their debuts. I know that can be a little bit confusing. Just that he caught both of those guys and they debuted almost 40 years apart, which is kind of cool. He's also the best defensive catcher in the game, other than maybe another guy that's higher up on the list. But I prefer Pudge over him, just based on their throwing mechanics. And you're looking at 97 fielding, 99 arm strength, 98 arm accuracy, 92 blocking, 68 speed. That's what you expect from Pudge is a great player defensively. And he's one of the best defensive catchers in the history of the game. And then you're looking at his hidden attributes. And I know a lot of people do not like his swing. He's a guy that pushes the ball a lot, pushes it the right center, down the right field line. I don't mind his swing that much. He batted over 300 for me last year on a signature series card. But I know a lot of people hate his swing. So that's kind of what has him at the fifth spot, maybe not a little bit higher up on the list. But he has 115 contact versus righty, 112 contact versus lefty, 87 plus power. Uh, obviously, he hits the ball a little bit harder against righties. Good vision, not the best discipline, so not a great guy for check swings. But he's fifth on the list. If if you're a big Texas Rangers fan or a big Pudge fan, pick him up, have some fun with him. Number four. The fourth spot is a 2000 Silver Slugger recipient, Mike Piazza. 99 overall card, and he throws right-handed bats right-handed, no secondary positions, and honestly, this card's on here because he absolutely rakes. His defense isn't great. It's in the 70s. He has 85 blocking, but he doesn't have a great arm strength, but this card is absolutely obliterating baseballs in this video game. 113 contact versus righty, 125 max contact versus lefty, 105 power versus righty, 125 power versus lefty, 100 vision, 94 discipline, 102 clutch. That right there is enough to get you in the top five on any catcher's list. He's a guy that's max max stats versus lefties. You get him and Frank Thomas when we go over the first baseman list, who I'm sure probably has a spot in the top ten. I don't know. You guys have to tune in to find out if Frank Thomas made it into the top ten of the first baseman. But you get him and Frankie Boy, they're mashing lefties. They're making lefties just scared, poop their pants. Absolutely ridiculous. The biggest downside of this Piazza, in my personal opinion, besides his defense, is I don't like his swing. But I don't think he has a bad swing. It's just a swing you have to get used to. And I've never really had a lot of Piazza cards in any of these games to get used to it because I found other catchers that I enjoy more than Piazza. But either way, his attributes are ridiculous. Got him coming in at number four on the list. Number three. One of the best catchers to ever play baseball, Johnny Bench. And this is his 1970 MVP card. He's right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. He can play the whole field, except for shortstop and second base. He has the secondary positions of first base, third base, left field, center field, and right field. I wouldn't play him in the outfield. Obviously not with the outfielders in the game so far. But even when he came out, 48 speed is too slow. Just my personal opinion, even though he has a hose out there with that 95 arm strength. The reason he gets a nod over Piazza at the three spot rather than being at four with Piazza's The ability to play first base and third base help. He is way better defensively. And actually, I said that maybe there was a guy that was better defensively than Pudge. I lied. It could have been Johnny Bench. I just didn't want to give up Johnny Bench. I think Johnny Bench was a better defensive catcher than Pudge in real life. Just my personal opinion. I both think they were great defensive catchers. But Pudge is actually the best defensive catcher at that five spot that we already talked about. But Johnny Bench is also very good defensively. 92 blocking, 95 fielding, 95 arm strength. His hitting is very close to Piazza's. It's not as good, but the upgrade in defense and the fact that he still mashes lefties is why Johnny Bench got the nod over Piazza. We got Johnny Bench number three. I think his price tag is a million stubs, so I don't think he's worth picking up, but I do think he's the third best catcher in the game. Number two. At number two, we have the 99 overall postseason NLDS card, Travis Darno. He played for the Braves, obviously. That's the team he was on this year. And he's taking the position of first base. And really, this is like almost an in-between between Piazza and Johnny Bench. That's why he gets the two spot. He has better fielding than Piazza and about the same hitting as Johnny Bench, close to Piazza's hitting. He also has a very good swing. 125 contact versus righty, 125 power versus righty, 85 contact versus lefty. 
90 power versus lefty, 102 vision, 98 discipline, 109 clutch. And then the field he is at 91 arm strength, 82 fielding. Honestly, if you wanted to platoon him and Piazza, that's probably your best overall catcher, to be honest. Or maybe platooning him with the next guy on the list. But either way, Darno's ability to absolutely mash righties even gives him some value as possibly a pinch hitter against right-handed batters if you are platooning catchers. So that's one of the nice things about Darno. Got him coming in at number two on the list. Very inexpensive card. Another card that's under 20,000 stubs. That plays a little bit of a factor. Not too much of a factor in these top 10 lists. But either way, Darno, go pick him up. Give him a try. If you like him, you could have your starting catcher for the rest of the year. Number one. The top spot for the catchers goes to Salvador Perez. He just came out as part of the Stage 4 team affinities. He's the finest 2020 card, 99 overall, right-handed throwing, right-handed batting, can play first base as well as catcher. And looking at his hitting attributes is really what makes this card special. 125 contact versus righty, 88 contact versus lefty, 112 power versus righty, 125 power versus lefty, 85 vision. The discipline's a big letdown at 46, but I mean, just don't check swing. Make sure you're just taking your pitches when they're not strikes. Don't check swing with them. 104 clutch. And then he has above average fielding with the 84 fielding, 82 arm strength, 82 arm accuracy, 85 blocking, 69 reaction. 32 speed, so he's not that fast of a guy. But really, his power is up there with Piazza's, actually better than Piazza's. And he can hit righties and lefties. And then he has above average defense. I think he's all around the best card. That's why he's number one on the list. So we got Salvador Perez, number one on this top 10 catchers. Guys, it's going to wrap up this video of the top 10 catchers in MLB The Show 20. I do think this list will hold until MLB The Show 21. I cannot think of any other catchers that need to come out other than Yogi Berra. And if Yogi Berra gets released, I'll let you guys know where he sits on my top 10 list and who gets bumped out. Obviously, it'd be Molina going into the honorable mentions. I'll let you know where Berra would fall on that list. If there's any other big name catchers that do come out, obviously I'll let you guys know. We will see what happens. I got some word that maybe in the 11th inning program there will be an Atlee Rutschman, which could bump out some of these guys. He could be in the top five. He's a switch hitter. We'll see what they do with his future stars card. Either way, guys, I appreciate all the support you give me. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. Love to hear from you guys. Appreciate all of the support. You guys have a great day and be safe.